James Molinos, guess what we have ahead? We have this fantastic, beautiful Glen Grant single malt scotch from Speyside in Scotland. Stay tuned for this review. So in March this year, just last month, 2018, so I was in the uh, D.O. Monsat region, which is uh, circling the Priorat region. I'm gonna do an additional stop somewhere else. I'm not just gonna stop there or stay in the region. I tend to go further away, which is also has some merit to it as well as it's just very logistically difficult, especially this trip. Uh, I was fighting issues of weather. The weather was tough. Um, the, the equipment arrived superbly late and uh, so you know missing, say, one flight in Germany and uh, it's also you're strung by all the airline points and systems you're on. So would I rather fly nonstop? Yes. Do I recommend nonstop? Absolutely. And uh, so sometimes I think it's not worth the uh, mileage points that you do gain and retain over time. Some of the legacy carriers keep you going. And, uh, but anyways, long story short is simply this. Scotland is to be visited. I had, so I had an amazing historical walkthrough, great uh, sites to visit, wonderful people, great food, which a lot of people don't expect. But I think when people think back, maybe that was 30, 40 years ago or even longer, I think there's so many different uh, cultures that have influenced Scottish cuisine, modern Scottish cuisine. What you still have there is, um, you know, amazing fish stock. You have amazing oysters. You have uh, fantastic uh, cuisine styles that are being modernized. Uh, so you have in London, you'll have modern British. But I would also posit that you also have modern Scottish cuisine in Glasgow and Edinburgh and all around, actually. So purpose of visit was really to go to the historical sites. I wanted Edinburgh Castle. I wanted to go to the Palace of Holyrood House. I wanted to go to Loch Ness. I wanted to go to Glencoe, and I did all of that. I also put in the mix was going to the Scotch Experience, and I went to Edinburgh Gen Distillery, as well as going to a uh, Scotch distillery, which is Deanston. Now, doing all this in a very short period of time, when you go to the Highlands, and especially if you want to go to Loch Ness, it's very, very long. Uh, it's a very big country. It's much bigger than probably most people expect, but it's absolutely sterlingly beautiful. So if you saw the Bond film Skyfall, you'll see Glencoe if you go up in that region and find the, uh, I, I just found it to be, you know, romantic actually and something I didn't quite expect to fall in absolute love with. So there are many thoughtful uh, video producers on Scotch, but I think it's also important to lend that wine experience to the Scotch world. And also for me, I love spirits, and I think uh, it's not uh, always thought of as being mutually exclusive. If you like wine, you'll like beer, you'll like um, you know, the spirits category, and a lot of people are kind of purists. I've had criticisms of people saying, you cannot do spirits uh, reviews because you know nothing about it. And I like to think that maybe I don't know everything about it, but I like to know that I have a certain palate experience that informs me, that helps me to enjoy the experience, right? And uh, that's the way it should be. It should not be, uh, you know, you're not allowed to enjoy it, or it should not be that only certain people can talk about scotch or talk about whiskey or tequila or whatever it is. And for me, I have this uh, profound love for scotch whiskey and probably more so than American or Japanese whiskey or Canadian whiskey or other whiskeys around the world. For me, it's such an original experience and I think a point of different experience. So I did this uh, video review of La Farog. This is single malt scotch. And uh, you know, why I bring this out is, you know, I can definitely smell the experience here just out of the bottle compared to say this uh, uh, Scotch Glen Grant 15 year old here. Very uniquely different. And so this is going to be a Scotch that is 43% ABV. This is 50% ABV. And uh, it's a lovely, lovely bottle of Scotch whiskey. And uh, so I will also point out, I'll put more information down below of the Scotch experience. So while you're in Scotland and maybe you're in Edinburgh, you may not have time to go to a distillery. And I definitely recommend finding a tour or finding a way to get into a Scotch distillery because they're massive. Um, even Deanston, which I had known of the brand, but so I didn't think the distillation facility would be as large as it was. And it was very, very large. And it was rainy and cold and lovely actually, because you saw the, um, the barrels in the rain and uh, that experience informs 
the whiskey experience later on in terms of when they're going to be utilized in the whiskey production. Not, you know, I did get up to Glencoe, to Loch Ness, uh, as well as to Dalwini, but I did not get to um, this particular, which is Rotes and uh, Speyside, which is about 60 miles away from where I was. And that was already, uh, I think, a 400 mile trip. So I didn't have enough time. I will go back. And uh, that's the beauty of this. So this is Glen Grant, Rotes, Speyside, 15 year old, first edition. So Glenn Grant is a testament of Major James Grant's ingenious mind. He created tall, slender stills and unique purifiers to capture only the finest vapors from the raw elements of the heartland, established in 1840. And uh, so it's, again, a uh, fantastic, beautiful coloration. I like the bottle. It has a bit of a curve here in terms of the indentation to the bottle itself, but it has that very familiar, I would call this scotch uh, topping in terms of the bottle format, bottle silhouette. So I've seen a number of videos by Master Blender, Richard Patterson, and I love how he talks about scotch and he really has this great uh, uh, viewpoint of scotch, of course. Being a Master Blender, you would have to have that. Uh, but I think what I find fascinating about him is that he has this, you know, he, he gets to the heart of the matter, which is to smell the scotch that you have before you. So he has uh, three components to the smell, which I think I really do appreciate. His, um, it's very entertaining, but he says, uh, hello. That's one uh, smell. And then the second one is, how are you? Mm. And then the third one is, uh, quite well. Thank you for asking. He, he does one pouring of scotch, throws it out, and uh, starts off with a brand new one. I can't imagine doing that only because it's so expensive. His idea is you're clearing out any impurities, and of course the alcohol is going to do that. So I get where he's going with that. I might just rinse carefully. I have faith that when I wash it completely and thoroughly that I'm not going to have to throw it out, especially if it's a 90, 100, $150 bottle of scotch. You don't want to do that. So for me, I, you know, there are no wrong answers in terms of the scent characterization, the flavor characterization. It is what you are experiencing. So for me, I, you know, I think I had to educate myself in terms of being okay with expressing what I was experiencing versus, oh, let me find out what the secret code is. And once I got the secret decoder ring, was I able to really talk about scotch? No, not really. I was actually talking about scotch the way I would any given wine and uh, really giving yourself permission to experience and explore and express yourself the way you feel about scotch. So here we go. Now on this uh, scent characterization is uh, notes of uh, green apple, a bit of clove, underbrush, a bit of uh, apple wood actually, which is uh, very, very nicely done. A bit of that sweet characterization as well as coriander, lemon peel, and green citrus zest, a bit of uh, anise and pepper as well. Beautifully done. Next, the flavor profile. So at 50% ABV, you might want to add a dash of water to this. Um, I did in this tasting as well. Um, I did with and without. So nutmeg, cardamom, dried fruit, a bit of tropical fruit note to this, as well as anise, pepper, and uh, really a, a gorgeous apple characterization, especially on the finish of this. This is 95 points out of 100 points. Taste this beautiful scotch. You won't be disappointed. I'll put more information on the producer down below. And I love uh, tasting through. I did taste a few other scotches and I will uh, do more scotch reviews this year. For me, I think scotch is glorious and wonderful and beautiful. And uh, my preference is for scotch of any whiskey type on the planet. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Stay tuned for more reviews to come of gin, spirits, scotch, and of course, wine, beer, uh, coffee, and so many other beverage art forms. So thank you for watching. I appreciate your support. Stay tuned for more. Sante.